Acum o să rugăm pe Edwin, care a scris o carte despre transferul emoțional din al business-ului și cred că o să ne facă ceva diferit, interactiv. Thank you very much. Um, let's see. Um, I want to make it a little bit more interactive because we're just before the break. And uh, as many of my students and colleagues are almost intertwined with their phones, I think I want you to use your phone as well. And instantly you have the presentation that I present to you on your phone. But also... Um, well, then it's fixed in this. Uh, so, so I want to embrace technology in this case and also adapt my story to the audience because it differs. Because we, I think we have, we have family members, we have entrepreneurs, we have different types here. Um, I think it's your connection, Dan. Uh, in the meanwhile, uh, yeah, but it's your connection. So I'm not your software. So uh, I come from a family business. Um, uh, I asked my old mother to, uh, to, sh to get a picture of our, uh, our grocery shop. Uh, and I had a very nice picture. <laughs> uh, the, the reason, uh, that was in 1927. Uh, so that was nice. No? Yeah. Uh, and then we had a couple of restaurants in Amsterdam, and these were normal restaurants where you had normal food for normal people, the taxi driver, the nurse. Uh, and, um, and it was a very well running business. And uh, my grandmother uh, then, so the, the, the grocery shop was sold. The, the yeah, we need a technician. <laughs> yeah, very nice guy. Uh, so, but uh, it was sold very badly. Um, because uh, half of the money in uh, the hotel and catering industry, of course, is uh, under the table and not above the table. But uh, never tell your accountant this, of course. Uh, and then uh, I did uh, about 150 uh, uh, deals uh, as a mergers and acquisitions expert. And I think... Don't... don't uh, Okay, 150 deals, of the 150 deals, only three deals went through. And I found this was very frustrating. So I started to work for Lex to find out why are these deals failing. So uh, this is why I'm here. So you are here as well. And finally, the presentation is working too, which is, which is useful. So why don't you go, pick your phone up. I will do the same. And I work with you. And we go to oh, this is the this is my uh, this is my grandmother, the little girl, eh? 1927, so before the Second World War. So go to menti.com. I will do it too. W W W. Yeah. Menti.com. No, it's my grandmother. She's. The little girl, huh? So, so it's okay. And then, if you go to menti.com, you enter the code eight six zero three seven five, and you submit. And then I see instantly, I think, how many presenters we have in the room. Hmm? Yes, she's uh, unfortunately she's gone. Okay. So let's see. And now you can, uh, you can uh, enter some information and I, and I will adapt my presentation to the information we get from the room. So what type of firm do you have? Because types of firm matter, whether you are in family business, for example, or not. Well, I work for a university, 
So I have no firm. Well, let's see. So there's some generation family firm. No second generation, which I was expecting because of uh, social elements in this country. Yeah. So that's nice. Okay. Yeah, good. Um, so for you, I think the challenge will be uh, same as for my uh, my family background in the family background in a Polish family. The second generation will will transfer, and this is where Dan comes in. Yeah. Yeah. So this is interesting. Uh, so there's very little experience, which confirms our our uh, just what we see from the room. It's, it's very nice. Uh, okay. So, yeah. Oh, yeah, oh, here. Yeah. So, how large is your company? Well, I work for a university, 30,000 students, and I have 3,500 colleagues. So, I'm plus 50. But usually, in the research we do, and we saw it from Ray Ampressa, we, we focus on small companies. Eh? Big companies, they have advisors, they have money, but small entrepreneurs, they don't. Uh, 500 euros is a lot of money for some. Yeah, so we have to take that into account, and I think as university we fill we fill this gap. I feel obligated to do so. Yeah, small companies. Yeah. Okay. Well, it's a bit skewed. <laughs> okay. This is very indecent for the ladies, of course. The ladies are always 24. But I will tell you my age. I am 40. Yes, I know. I'm halfway there. <laughs> Oh, that's nice. Eh? We see a nice distribution, but it's not very... Oh, there's a 125-year-old. Yeah. yeah, we see what's going on. That's nice eh, to see the distribution. I think age matters. Eh? And if you're older male, of course, we're not getting any younger. I think the message was there. And we see it. The 65-year-old who says, yes, I might think about selling in 10 years. Yeah. Then you have no negotiation possibility. So, so, and it takes the transfer. It takes time. Eh? Very important. Uh, and so where are you in the transfer process? Because the process of transferring a business goes from, I'm not thinking about it at all, from celebrating with champagne. Uh, and I'm expecting <laughs> that not many people are thinking about it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Due diligence means we're checking the books. Yeah? See how much money is there. There should be no skeletons in the closet. Uh, the, we found once <laughs> one deal we did. How many shareholders are there in the company? He said two, and we found in the due diligence there are actually three. And we said to the student, "Don't take over the company." And the father, or the, 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 the seller, wasn't even talking about another not a shareholder. Due diligence very important, uh, and of course negotiations. Okay, interesting. Yeah. Confirms our findings. So when do you want to sell? Or if there are any sellers, I'm not as soon as possible. Well, then <laughs> you have a client here. <laughs> yeah, we see it. Uh, we see that uh, four customers. Good. Yeah. Uh, do you also want to buy? Could be. Yeah. Could be. No buyers. I don't think there's buyers here. Yeah. No, still some buyers. Okay. So there's lots of opportunity here. This is a marketplace. It's cool, eh? I think it's cool that it's online instantly. I think that's nice. Yeah. Yeah. But it takes time, eh? And also, why do you want to sell the company? I think you can shift. Um, is it about money? Do you have no more fun? Do you want cash? Yeah, you want no more fun? I want to do something else. Health issues, we saw it. Age. Some people cannot stop. Yeah? And other reasons. You can shift. I know it's a bit, oh, it's a bit too, too much, maybe. You can also skip it. Yeah, so. uh, of course, people want money, but money is not the most important thing. Yeah, we see, uh, we see lots of with our students. We see health issues, uh, uh, and people want to do something else as well. And uh, yeah, I was fascinated that the money was not the key driver, and of course, it, money should never be the key driver. You need enough, but of course. I think it's more about indeed the trust level and that you can, uh, can submit. So, but we saw many delays. Why do people delay? You can expect delays. People will postpone because of these psychological elements. Um, uh, sellers are backing out. They're pulling the plug. I had it once. The seller was 
ready to collect m three million. And because he didn't like the, succe uh, the successor, he said, I'm pulling the plug. I don't care about the money. It's amazing. Sellers backing out. Uh, uh, a big reason why, why, why it fails. Uh, so, if you guys want to sell, there's a couple of sellers here. What are your worries? Why are you not sleeping at night? Uh, I can tell you why I'm not sleeping at night. No, I no, that's somebody else. No, I have young children, so. But uh, worries at night, why do you want to sell? Uh, yeah, there's many reasons. Uh, I, we asked uh, uh, not too long ago, we had many entrepreneurs, uh, they don't want any fuzz in the family. Uh, we also had, uh, uh, indeed, a, 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 is my son a good successor or not? And, 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 and indeed, uh, I think culture is, is, uh, is uh, not so, uh, we are not so different. Uh, usually we have the, the older male uh, uh, son who is naturally the successor, but, but from research we find that there's so many talents out there. But, but, but fathers are not sleeping because of this, eh? and they cannot speak about it, of course. It's in their mind. You don't speak about it. Uh, we don't have your data, so you can put anything in. Yeah. So free time, okay. Yeah. Money, price, and it changes. Eh? Good buyers, yeah. Where are the good buyers? Well, they're with Dan, of course. Yeah. Profitability. Uh, we had one uh, one uh, uh, seller of uh, uh, Apple, uh, Apple Farm, who says. How do I sell it? Where are my buyers? Yeah. They were worried about that. Now, most common psychological barriers we find, uh, letting go of your baby, choosing between your children, you have nothing to do and you don't trust your successor, or you don't plan enough. And planning is very much underestimated. A plan never goes as you plan it. Yeah. When the bullets start flying. Most common psychological barriers. The question is, how do you deal with that? This is more important. There are many problems out there. How you deal with it is most important. Uh, I can tell you uh, how I deal with it. Uh, let's see I'm a, if I'm the first. Communication, yeah. <laughs> Netflix. Yeah. That's okay. You know what it is? It's, it's, it's a valid way of, of, of dealing with it. Because you escape from reality, reality, and as a psychologist, eh, this is very effective, eh, escaping from reality. I saw it last night as well in the city, in the old town. People escape from reality by going clubbing. And they go crazy. Uh, in our research, we also find many entrepreneurs drink a glass, or two, or three, or a bit more, or they take medicine to sleep. Uh, if it works, it works. Uh, but I think, uh, uh, yeah, communication, yeah, okay, how do you deal with it? Good advisors, yeah, that works. You talk about it. You exchange ideas, that works. There are many ways to deal with this. Uh, some are more effective than others. You talk to your tour consultant, yeah. O only one or two drinks? Oh, okay. Uh, and uh, we did this presentation in another country, and the ladies often say chocolate. Hey, if it works for you, <laughs> maybe we should develop a tool and put chocolate in there. Um, yeah. So there are many ways to deal with it. Uh, there are, from the, th from the theory, but also from e experience, we know there's active ways of dealing with it, and we saw it. Active ways means talking to someone, it means to going to a consultant, that means planning about it, uh, which, is, which is good. Uh, we also saw uh, so, uh, 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 social support, then you're one of them. Uh, you accept what it is, uh, you, you, you focus what you do, uh, and you learn from it and grow. It's not okay, it's okay to make mistakes and you grow from it. Uh, uh, yeah, you, you can give up, okay, yeah, you can also give up. There's also passive ways to deal with it. A passive way is indeed drinking. Drinking solves your stress, what you have. It takes the edge off, but it really doesn't solve your problem. Um, uh, if uh, you can go in denial, it is not there. 
But then again, if you don't pay your, uh, if you're not succeeding, not finding your successor, and you think it's not there, it doesn't solve your problem. It solves the stress in your mind, but it doesn't solve the problem. Uh, there, so uh, you can go even go to church, talk with people about it. You can pray about it. Yeah, if if it works, you can do sports. I do sports. I used to run. Uh, you can use humor. I see it a lot. You can make a joke about it. Ah, I sell when I'm 80. Yeah, and people are joking about it, but actually there's truth truth in this joke, and then they would never sell. You can cry about it. You become angry, uh, but then again, crying doesn't really help. Denial. You can use substances. Yeah. I think the story that I want to tell is there is active ways in business to deal with the stress of selling, but in general as a person, eh? this works. And I think a balance between passive and active works. You have a drink, even might have a drink with your successor and his family. That might even work as well. Eh? Have a drink with your potential successor. Get drunk together. Eh, if it works, you have a bond. No, it, wor it works. At the same time, you talk to people about it. Eh? But got the engine, this is an engine, eh? you see the bar. When you're stressed and relaxed, it's fine. But if you're in high revs all the time, you get uh, problems with your body, uh, you get problems with your mind. So I think if you have a balance of actively and passively dealing with it, it's nice. It's very, most, most effective. So um, outside, there is my, what, my book. I'm happy to uh, share it with you. Please take a copy. Um, and. Uh, uh, there's all, it's a bit technical, so it's a bit scientific, but if you want to know how you deal with your stress, send me a message and I will send you a link and we can find out your profile. It could be useful, because if you're aware of your style, then you can be more effective, because we've tested this with more than 2,000 entrepreneurs and we can say to you, oh, maybe you're a bit on the passive side, maybe you can do this a bit more. That's more, more uh, active. So please uh, uh, feel free to, to contact me. Uh, that's really my story I wanted to share. If there's any questions, let me know. What's the meaning of doing? I think I'm speaker to a bit, so I don't go in the applause at all. Și întrebări? Unde, unde, unde? Tu? Ah. Ok. Vreau să întreb, răspundă cineva? Ok, o să încerc să răspund eu. Oh, de, de la tra nu vede întrebarea. Ok, ca, uh, întrebarea este care sunt caracteristicile unui uh, bun cumpărător? Yes, is that working? They can hear me. They can hear me. Thank you. <laughs> deci întrebarea era este care sunt caracteristicile unui bun cumpărător. Cred că, în primul rând, trebuie să fie motivat, să, să vrea să cumpere. Deci, dacă e numai, cum zicea Pino ieri, cred că ai zis numai al altei. Dacă este unul care nu are cu piciorul în cauciucuri, știți când te duci la, la, să vinzi o mașină și vine un cumpărător și începe așa să facă niște gesturi în cauciucurile tale, înseamnă că nu prea încă interesează să facă cumpere. Deci dacă pune mai multe întrebări, dacă e un cumpărător activ, poate fi un bun cumpărător. Noi în școala de brocăraj avem uh, niște trepte cum calificăm cumpărătorii, sunt niște pași definiți specific prin care trebuie să treci ca să ajungi să califici un cumpărător, pentru că altfel îți pierzi timpul. Deci mulți lovesc cauciucurile, cum ziceam, dar nu ajung nicăieri. Dacă ei și dus printr-o metodologie în care încerci să înțelegi ceea ce vor și 
să le, să le dai ceea ce au nevoie, ajungi mult mai repede unde trebuie. Altcineva? Mai zic. Ok? Întrebări? Înainte să luăm pauză? Sunt cărțile lui Edwin afară. Ne-a promis că semnează câteva. Deci vă rog să-l abuzați. <laughs> Și vă mulțumim încă o dată. Nu știu unde o să biți care mă bucur că am avut, am avut ocazia să-i avem la București. Mulțumesc mult!